Hey guys, the objective of this video is to look at a long-term example where we're finding the force per unit length. So we've been given this profile of soil where there's a retaining wall over here. The soil depth is six meters. We have a water table at the top and a water table at the left-hand side here. And we're gonna say that this rock layer is very permeable, okay? So what do we have? And we asked to find for, <clears throat> for the condition of minimum force. Minimum force was when we had H, sigma H min, and this was an active failure. So the minimum force is active. If they ask for the maximum force, it would be a passive failure. So we need to look at the conditions we have to determine if we're gonna be doing an effective or total stress analysis. So we have long-term, we wanna know the long-term, and we also have a clay. So long-term clay, it is going to drain, right? So we're looking at drained conditions which means we need to do an effective stress analysis. Which means we're going to be using the parameters C dash and Phi dash. So those values over there, we can ignore these values. If we were doing a short term, we would have to use these values, the undrained values, but we're doing long term. So what's going to happen now is, is obviously for an effective stress analysis, we need to know the pore water pressure because we know that the vertical effective stress is